It's covered in some mud grubs. Uh, once it's light, so. and we're about to cook some more crabs. Hey, how's it going? Seven. Fourteen people. big boy stay tuned for the next video of us catching these crabs this is just us cooking them it's the first time live on youtube oh pop your cherry this is my first time going live everyone we're just cooking up some crabs this is your first time yeah cherry pop pop the cherry All right, they're on the cook again. Uh, we use chicken. Yeah, we use chicken um, for bait and a bit of lamb. Uh, me of ash. There you go. We're freaking uh, Yeah, we uh, went out yesterday, put some pots out, got a few crabs. Went out again in the morning, and I think all up we kept 17 crabs. Yeah, 17. So, that's a pretty good haul considering there's been no crabs around. And, uh, yeah, well, 17 crabs is pretty good, but we got a few people here wanting to eat them. <laughs> so, uh, like chicken and chicken or. Say? Like chicken. like chicken breast or chicken? No, we use chicken drumsticks and then I marinate them in a... Uh, tuna oil. Tuna oil and then a bit of uh, uh, just ordinary lamb what we had left over in the fridge. Just having a few beers. Um, I've got these flip beers. You probably have a better look now at these. They're the first lot cooked. Yeah, we're cooking them in salt water. Yeah, mate, uh, it's hard to take people mud crab I haven't met before. Oh, well, Tononi's around. Yeah, it's hard to take anyone out mud crab I've never met before. Uh, it, it, generally, it's good to meet the person first before you take anyone out, just so you know, because you're going to be out in the water with them for 12 hours. So, yeah, if you want to go mud crab me, we just have to catch up first beforehand, because, uh, yeah. Um... I'm only 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, well uh, yeah, probably when you hit a bit older, yeah, hit me up. Um, ask your parents. Ask your parents. Your dad, your dad would have to come. Uh, make me hungry. Just... Yeah, I can't wait to eat them either, mate. We're just chilling them there. It's going to be good feed. Right, we'll just turn around. Yeah, this video is just about us uh, cooking the crabs. These are some more of the ones we got. Uh, pretty good sized crabs.
Thanks, mate. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, it's been a long time in Darwin. Uh, over this wet season, I haven't really been getting many crabs. Then we decided to go out to one of my spots from last year and uh, yeah, we cleaned up. I think all up, we probably got about 25 crabs and uh, we let a lot of them go because we're allowed to keep uh, 13 centimetre uh, mud crabs here uh, and 14 centimetre females, but we end up getting big quality ones, so we decided just to keep them. Uh. Uh, I didn't quite get that message, this, uh, doing it on your phone. I saw something about blue swimmers. Yeah, well, we get blue swimmers up here, if that was what you're asking, but generally on the sand flats. And this time of year, with this much fresh around, you'd have to go out pretty wide, away from any river system, just so that the crabs uh, aren't affected by fresh water. Oh, you got me Yeti back in front. Oh, didn't use the rim. Yeah, saltwater arm would be good, mate. Friend, it's pretty rough out there at the moment. A lot of uh, fish, uh, a lot of uh, fresh water. Uh, I haven't been fishing because uh, at the moment it's about two and a half meter swell at the front. Yeah, catch you later, mate. Thanks a lot, mate. If any of you's got any ideas what you want me to do, or you got any uh, suggestions on uh, what sort of adventures you prefer to see, if you want to see more survival videos, or just more mud crabbing videos. The mud crabbing seems like it's just about to start turning up this year. Uh, we have a bit of a delay when the wet season hits, so uh, hopefully um, the crabbing picks up more than this and we can have a really good season this year catching mud crabs. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind going out getting some more red claw and cherubin, but with the rivers flowing this hard, um, we can attempt it, but it's only going to be an attempt because uh, it's pretty well a raging torrent. All right, well. Yeah, same thing with hunting. Uh, hunting this time of year, the, everything's flooded. It's been raining non-stop for a, quite a long time. Put a picture up on the YouTube. We'll put a picture up on the YouTube of how... Uh, oh, we went yeah, it's big and it's... Yeah, and all the areas to go hunting is just underwater. Uh, Terrible. Yeah. It's not the time of year to go hunting. You won't get out to the floodplains. Uh, yeah, I can't do that, Ash, do you want to take this over a sec? It's not turning away. It's just self-adult, that shit again. I'm a bitch, bitch now. Alright, so you'll probably see me in some of the videos with Langer. I have a YouTube channel, but it's not too, uh, not too successful and uh, doesn't have too many videos because I spend a lot of time at sea, working at sea. I do have a big head. Got a massive head actually. But uh, 
mostly go fishing with Langer. That's about it. So yeah, I have my YouTube is uh, Adventure Crab NT. Got a couple of funny videos on there with uh, with Langs that we filmed in the past. But yeah, just sometimes just don't have the patience like uh, Langer the, to sit there and uh, edit so many so many uh, things. Oh, thanks, Maddie. Maddie's paying for the fuel. Oh, but the one that you see in the videos has always got a durry hanging out my mouth. And uh, my joints that you see the crab cooks up sometimes. A little little shed, shack, boat out the front, boat there. I don't have a lot of money, I just work hard and uh, provide for the family and just enjoy it. I'll turn around and show you the cook up so you don't have to look at me fat head. Still boiling away. Gas is getting a bit low, but it's alright. <laughs> Maddie paying for fuel money through YouTube, paying Langer, the fuckhead. Excuse the language. They're the ones that we already cooked. You'd obviously already seen it. We might have to go get some more ice. Yeah, it's just a little gas cooker that we got a friend to cook up, make up. She blasts a fair bit of gas out and it goes good. Sounds like a Leah jet. Another two minutes we've got to go. Righto, mate. Thanks for that. Catch you again. Hopefully you have a look at the video and like and subscribe as well. Yeah, back into a saltwater brine after they're cooked straight away, mate. You want to keep that nice, fresh, fresh flavour. As we've got our big bin of salt over here that we use. Yeah, it is hard to chuck no swear words in. Uh, we try not to as much as we can because we know that kids watch this and that, but I'm sure if their parents are still letting them watch it and their parents watch it, then uh, it's sort of, sort of okay, but we try and leave the sea bombs out of the, out of the videos. <laughs> Yeah, That's mate, a, I'll try, um... It's mostly, mostly me that's using the C-bombs all the time, but I'm the skipper, so anything that happens on my boat stays I'll on my boat. And uh, Langs tries to edit it out sometimes. But sometimes it wrecks the video if I edit it out and you don't hear any sound. Well. Usually when you hear no sound on the videos, uh, it's uh, probably me swearing a lot. Getting excited. So you see some of them starting to float now. It means they've only got about a minute left. Hey mate, how you going? The live's lagging a bit, but... Ah, it's all good fun out in the boat, eh? But yeah, this is, uh, this was, this last trip was just such a, such a good Good trip and good soak. Like we haven't had uh, good crabs up here in the NT because the season's uh, ended and because there's so much fresh water, so they stop stop uh, moving and they move all out to sea to the higher salt water. So we're about to take them out now, ready to go. There we go, she's full up. We only put six crabs in this burner and we average off it of between a 13 and 15 minute cook. Empty them all straight into your salt water brine. Throw a bit more ice in there. Get them nice and cold straight away. So 
what it's doing when you get them real cold straight away is it's uh, making the meat contract. And then that way when you, you pop your claws, you're going to get that nice lollipop. So we're still boiling. We've got one last batch to do. You just may think like this is a uh, lot of crabs that we kept to eat, but we feed all our families and friends and next door neighbours and old mate over there, he loves his crabs. Keep everyone happy in the neighbourhood pretty much. All have beers at my house and eat crabs together. So you see what we're doing here after they're in the ice brine. We're checking if they're fully limp and dead. If, you, if they're not limp and they're sort of moving, they're going to pop their claws straight away and all their legs are going to pop as well. There we go, nice and limp. A couple of claws dropped, they got in a big fight. There's a lot of the, you'll see in the video, we've got a lot of threes and fours in, uh, in the pots that we've got. So the reason why the water's so mucky is because uh, they uh, start to regurgitate all the all the stuff inside of them. So that's all just pretty much their regurgitate, regurgitated stuff. Hey Foxy, good to see you mate. So that's a really good haul. Stay tuned for the video, it should be a good one. It's gonna be, some of them are gonna be a bit, uh, there's gonna be a bit of water on the screen, so I hope you all uh, don't uh, worry about that. It, it's just been raining non-stop up here in, in Darwin. And uh, last night and this morning was absolutely terrible. We're talking 1.5 to two meter swell as we're coming in and out of a channel. And yeah, it was terrible. But we got through it because we took the bigger boat. Thanks for that, Michael. Legend. Yeah, definitely it's going to be a good feed. Oh, we might even have to have a snack. Oh, thanks for that, Barra. Might have a snack right now. Give us a look what the lollipop's gonna look like. That's a fairly big, put it in your hand. I've got really actually massive hands like me fucking head. Here's a beer can. So there's a beer can. Or a Yeti. A Yeti, and that's how big it is. So. Yeah, that's a Yeti can. So that's showing how big the crabs that we've been getting. We'll um, get him to crack it open and we'll give you a look. Get him something to crack it. Full of meat. Hey, you eat it, mate. We're in, I think we got plenty more. <laughs> yeah, you eat it. Give it to Maddie. I don't care who eats it. Stuck in there, is it still? No, she's not stuck, she's just that full. She's jam full. Right. It's actually fuller than I thought they would be. Probably didn't cool it down quick enough, but. That's what happens when the claws of that chocker sometimes. Oh, there you go. Come on, mate. 
You haven't had crab for a bit. Matty always misses out on crab because we uh, end up eating him before he comes back around. around. Prawns with me? You eat cherubin? Well, you eat prawns with Uncle Langer. Yeah, you want prawns. No, it's a quite big prawn. Well, yeah. We might have to go into the driveway again. Yeah, well, we're going to make a mess. She's just embarrassed. The chocker. You wouldn't think I actually like heat when it's freaking out. It's actually been quite a cool in Darwin lately. Yeah. Uh, we'll get a bucket and we'll slap on the shells in because there's going to be a lot of chaos soon when we start actually eating all these. Really need to set up a camera so it's just on live stream just watching yeah, us yeah. as we walk around. You're gonna get her back, you're just pointing around talking. Well, what do you reckon, guys? Do you reckon we just uh, carry the phone around and show you the live stream? Do you like that? I know Langer's content's more like really raw, so. You want Langer to start drinking fucking beers? <laughs> <laughs> Send it. He wants to drink beers because so he made me hold the phone again. Jesus, we're up to 32, 34.96 in uh in uh, donations. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot, everyone. Langs appreciates it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll do a uh, premiere we'll chat about when we get some grabs. Right? So. <laughs> so we. So are we, Michael, but we just tasted that claw and uh, I don't know if we're going to share all these crabs, eh? I think we might just sit here and eat them all. Well, the best I've done is set one crab for one joke. Give it a fair crack. Yeah, there's very good crabs up here, but they've been, as what I said before, they've been off lately because of all the wet season. Well, we, hadn't caught, we only caught like two crabs. Yeah, sorry, we're a bit shaky. We had a couple of beers. But we're just on an iPhone, we're not on a camera, so I um, don't oh, know, let us know what you think, whether we should get a stand and set up a camera so the lives... If you like the lives, we're going to do some lives where we actually get more crab in. We're going to try and, as what Langer said, we're going to try and go do some lives. Uh, if you want that, uh, 
first load. Yeah. Well, I think it'd be good because you, you don't get to see an edited version, you just get to see us go through all the pots and see the crabs getting caught when they're getting caught. Oh, you can't hear him. Talk again, tell them again, they can't hear you. Yeah, can you hear us? Burn. Can you hear us now? Let us know. Can you hear us? Yeah, we need because you're in front of the burner. Go Sorry right. about the burner, mate. Yeah, well, I want to start doing uh, lives where we go uh, put the grab bots in, then we'll go live and start checking the bots with these all. If you like that, let me know because it's, I think it's a bit cool to actually go up to each pot, pull it up, and you get to see what we catch. Uh, you get to see the <laughs> Radio Foxy, he's going to love that. Hey? Yeah, that burner is loud. It's like a Learjet. It's actually really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think, I think that'd be a nice way for me to actually see it. Like, we go live and we're pulling pots in and you get to see the monsters getting caught. Like, we get some really big grabs up here in the Northern Territory. Um, yeah, I think he's just all doing it. I'd hope so. The guy in the background keeps telling us we have rude heads. Yeah, it's just a matter of, uh, yeah, it is the top cooker. It's all uh, homemade. Are you still on me? Yeah, I'm still on me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you see him start floating now. It's almost time to take him out. This is our last batch, which is good. Gas tank's uh, about empty. Yeah, it's just freezing up the bottom. Skull a can. Hey? Skull a can? Was there a donation involved? Is there a donation involved, he said? Get out the skull a can just because. Life sounds cool. Oh, can we get a better mic? Yeah, we're working towards it, mate. Um, it's the best of it. But here we go, we're about to take them out. This is the last batch, nice and full, still boiling. What we do, straight over, in the ice slurry, through the rest of them, squish them down. That's a bucket of crap. And then we tip the rest of our ice water on top. That's the last of our ice. We thought we were gonna need some more, but we don't really. Yeah, it does. So Lang said he will scull a can if you do donations. He doesn't want to get too drunk because my wife will get angry at him. But there we go. It's nice and uh, quiet now. As you can see, that's how loud that burner is. It almost need a set of earmuffs. But yeah. We're all done. We're all cooked up. Gonna win a crab dinner. And now we're probably gonna wait for them to cool down and eat them. So let me know if uh, anyone wants to see Langer skull a can. I do. How much is it worth? A racing. Oh, we're gonna have a race. There we go. Who's putting their bids bids in now? This is half empty. I think. Okay. We need a full one. Put a, we want to put a bet on uh, who does want to bet on? I'll leave um, that angle and shotgun. It should be quick. So I'll leave that on there and I'll get another one. <laughs> there you go. Danny. Danny chucked a fiver. Danny's got one. Fiver. Thanks, Danny. Who's your money on Danny? Here's your money on Danny, let us know. Yeah. yeah. He's going on the key. Hey, from Oregon, USA. We're just about to do a shoddy competition. Uh, who's, your, who's your money on? Um, if you want to throw a donation out there. You're not doing the shoddy. Well, I'm going to have to go with Langer on this one then. Uh, Who's your son? He's right out, ready, yeah. go. 
Yeah, we'd like to get to 20, Braden. There we go. Oh, yeah, Langus is done. Langus cheated. Popped a hole in the bottom. Half the, half the beer left before it even started sculling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Langs is doing pretty good on the YouTube, yeah. Not as much as his TikTok. Yeah, me so, TikTok. So he'd like to see his TikTok. He's like to see as many uh, subscribers on his YouTube opposed to his uh, TikTok. But yeah, I always thought TikTok was a bit gay, but... And they just danced on it. <laughs> I told Langers that he needs to start dancing, and even my daughter said that he needs to start doing dancing. Little crab jig. <laughs> Belly jig. Hey, Braden. Oh, any any tips? It's not Langer, it's Ash. Yeah, Langer's um, standing beside him. Langer's standing behind us. Uh, probably try, try the harbour. West Arm's pretty good. Um, Just gotta we're, keep down, keep we're down, we're down, we're down Lizzie River today, and a couple of our little hidey holes down there. Um, they're just starting to come in, mate. But they're starting to come in, which is good. Uh, there's, thanks to that bar, there's a couple of a uh, couple of people who, like we were out last night, been leaving their pots out of, of a night time in in places where you got to get your boats in. And yeah, it's so so much a hassle. You nearly wrapped up uh, Ash's uh, engine prop. Nearly wrapped up my anchor or There's my only one engine. There's going through. But uh, we need some ice. Just, just doing doing thirty knots, though. it just chopped it off straight away. So I was kind of lucky. We got Braden Turner wanting to go. You crabbing with him? You and your dad. Uh, wait until the lives off. Yeah. Gonna go get some ice, but uh, we're gonna head off soon, eh? We're gonna have to close the lives off, everyone. Uh, we're gonna go get some ice. These crabs have uh, soaked up all the ice. Well, we'll be back on later when we eat eat some crabs. So stand by, and also like and subscribe on YouTube. I have, already have there. Are you following? You're already following, obviously. Yeah, we'll eat some crabs soon. Yeah. And, yeah, we might go live later on. And yeah, Braden, um, we'd have to organise with your dad and we can take your scrabbing one time. We'll take the bigger boats, so that way there's enough room. If we get, uh, yeah. Right, thanks, guys. Make sure that's with Langs? Catch you, everyone. See you, guys.